All right, we're gonna have a look at the long-term view on Tesla. What is, what the hell's going on with Tesla? Let's have a look into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, I think I'm, I'm out of breath, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I know, I'm not sure if you know, but I've been doing so many recordings for you guys to help you guys out. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the ninth recording in a row. So I had to get up and I just had to say, yes, 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 yes. And I had to jump around and, and to get my energy level back up. But now I'm here, now I'm ready. The energy level is back up. Let's get straight into Tesla Motors. What is happening to that? Um, it seems like Tesla Motors, it seems like the cars have got a big, big, big rap about Tesla Motors. If any of you guys are watching this video, and if you own Tesla, or you know anyone that owns Tesla, let me know what you think about the actual, the car itself. Um, I don't think we actually have them here in Australia yet. So anyway, let me know what you think. Looking at the overall charts here on Tesla, we can see that it, it's, it has been overall on this month, this is a, actually that's a weekly chart, let's go to the monthly chart. This is a monthly chart. On the monthly chart, you can see overall that we've been creating this sort of slight downtrend. A slight downtrend through there and then we had this sort of slight downtrend through here you can see it actually ran up and it came through there so it's very very interesting to see what is actually going on right now because if you look at the overall flow of this the overall flow of this market of this here you can see the market had a big run up and what do we have we had this peak we had this trough we had a higher peak can I make that thicker there we go peak trough a peak we had this trough, we had this another higher peak, and then it ran down and created this sort of double bottom. It made this lower trough, then went sideways, came down, and, and, and then it made this lower trough through here, ran up, made a lower peak, and now we're just sort of mandarin, 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 we're mandarin, <laughs> we're mandarin, -ing. our mandarin, mandarin, we're not doing too much, right? The last couple, of, last couple of months, you can see it's just been overall made just sideways. We haven't really gotten any movement at all. You can see we've had this sort of uh, downward action through here. And it's sort of, sort of a, a good support around the $200 level. So looking at Tesla, for me guys, for me looking at this Tesla, what I'm looking at this for, for an opportunity to, to trade it is this. And again, I'll be trading it on a very small basis, a very, very small basis, but indeed, if we actually start, if we close below, here's, here's what sort of my my thesis is about this. I definitely see we have a major area of support around this 180 level. If that 180, if the, if the monthly chart closes below this 180 level, then the next stop down here is 120. Now remember, this is a monthly chart. It takes several, if it closes below there, then we have, we have a good 30 or so percent drop to the downside. That's what's likely to happen, guys. On a monthly chart, that is. Okay, on a monthly chart. On a weekly chart or even a daily chart, guess what could happen? We could, you know, we could actually, we could get this, right? It break, it, it could, the monthly chart could open here and come down and close here. And then we could get a rally down and we could get a rally back up and a rally back down and down there we go and rally back up and then down we go again, right? That's what could happen on a daily chart or, or, or weekly chart. So if it's this, if it's, if you take a trade on the monthly chart based on that, for me, I will definitely have, you know, my stops in place. I'll be trading small and I'm saying, cool, this is where my target is now because of that, right? So if you're after longer term trades, have those longer term views, have that longer term view in mind as well too. Let's actually go look at the weekly chart now. Now, this is actually the weekly chart. And the last couple of weeks has been, what's not really much going on, right? Looking at the peaks and troughs again on the weekly chart, we actually can see we had this lower peak, had this sort of peak here as well too, and then maybe, I'm not sure what's going on through here by now, but maybe it's another lower peak. We have this trough, lower trough. So we definitely are creating a, let me actually, a, actually this, a stair-stepping downward movement in this here. So we're definitely creating a test that if we fail here, then maybe the next move is actually breaking below that level and then continue down. If that does happen, we may do this. We, it looks like we're going to head down towards the 120 level. So that's what I see there on Tesla, guys. 
Uh, and looking on the daily chart, let's go have a look at the daily chart now. On the daily chart, and daily chart, you can see it actually was just really not doing much, is it? Really, really, really not doing much. And if we have a look at this, is that that was obviously that trend line there. So you can see we have this overall area of resistance where it's been through there, and probably the majority of the channel is the majority of the sideways movement has been through there. So you can see the majority of the time in the last couple of months has indeed actually been through that level through there. So very, very interesting to see what happens happens with Tesla. Who knows what's going to happen on the short term basis, guys? And there's no real indication of whether it wants to break up or break down. So there obviously wouldn't be any trades for me on this one. Um, but uh, but there's there's no trades for me yet anyway. But I do like this. I do like major put options if we do start to break below certain levels. Um, and that's what I see there on Tesla. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course. And I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.